Sandra, I'm on my way to mail your package, my darling. Yes. What you got to say for yourself? Yeah. Uh-huh. As usual, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Here is the post office. Yes. Nobody here today, Joe. This is what the postage came to for one apron. $2.20. So I think $3 shipping is very good for the aprons because um, the $2.20 covers the actual shipping at the post office. And then a portion of it goes towards the envelope because I have to buy these. And then whatever's left over is gas. So I think $3 per apron is very good. Two aprons came to four thirty, so two aprons would have to be like five bucks. Mm -hmm. One apron, three dollars. Two aprons, five bucks. That's all I can do to, to help out with the shipping. So, to Belize um, for th um, three weeks, it's gonna take to get to Belize. It would be um, thirteen dollars and something cents. So I would say what fourteen dollars to Belize fourteen dollars to Belize Joe went to go put some gas in and then we're gonna go home and make one more apron and then hopefully we can go to the gym today hey guys um, it is what Thursday right Joe Thursday, November the 16th, and it's about, let me see, 8.50 in the morning. I've been going at it since about 7 o'clock. I cut, what, four aprons, right, Joe? Mm -hmm. I cut four aprons, and, um, <clears throat> and I ironed the first batch that we're going to do, because we found out that if you iron everything that you're sewing, it goes a lot easier especially for people that are novices like us. So I didn't put up a vlog last night because frankly, it would have been boring. Besides what we did yesterday morning, we went to um, the swap meet to see what kind of materials they have over there because my neighbor told me they have good stuff. No, it's just loud. The stuff is obnoxiously loud, the, cloth, the materials. So um, well, what I'm doing is just flipping over the bands. So we went to um, we went to the swap meet. Didn't like what we saw there. Went up to go to Walmart. So we popped into Sergio. You know, whenever we're on the way to Walmart, that way we'll pop in and say hey. <clears throat> and then we went to Walmart, came home, and for the rest of the day we just sewed. Is that the correct thing? Mm -hmm. You sewed. Sewed. That's not, that. There's no past tense to sewed, huh? I'm gonna have to look that up. I know like when you sow in the earth, like when you're planting, they're sowed, S-O-W-E-D. But sow. is there an S-E-W-E-D? Let's look it up while we're on this thing. What is sowed? Sowing. Sowing is what we're doing, but past tense sowed. We were sowed. sowing. <laughs> we were sowing. Joe just went like with a particip par participle or something. <laughs> Let's see. S-E-W-E-D. It does exist. It's the past tense of so. Holler. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the past tense of so. Okay, you, you're done with the bands? Past tense of which one is this past tense? S E W E D yeah. is the past tense of S E W. Mm -hmm. Are we ready? Yeah. Okay, so we need for you to cut one of the labels. Let me show them. We silk, well, not silk screen, heat transferred our label. There you go, Papa. So Joe's gonna put it inside the pocket. Let me show you one of the um, aprons. This is one that we made yesterday. So that's why I didn't put up the vlog, because all we did was this, and you know, it's, it gets boring just seeing us do this over and over again. So this is the one side. It's for the fall, and the other side is green. There's always going to be a solid side. So I didn't know where to put my label, but I needed to put a label. So if you guys buy this for friends and family and then they want to buy one for their friends and family, they need to know where to get it, right? So Arlie in Belize, shout out to Arlie. Arlie told me to put it inside the pocket. So see, it's inside the pocket. Yeah. So Joe has to sew it now mm. because if he sews it after, you'll see the thread out there. 
Okay, puppy. Joe's gonna fire me in a little while saying, I'm talking with you guys, not doing what I needs to be doing. Right, Joe? Mm -hmm. Okay, where's the pin? <clears throat> so I pin it in here. I think I might have to cut the top a little bit, Joe. Yeah. Still need to leave you a spot to sew though. This scissors and nothing is the same thing. We went and bought good scissors. Very bad one. Hmm? No, I'm telling them we went and bought good scissors. Oh, this works with that. I didn't say we have to go buy good scissors, I said we bought. Mm -hmm. So when I put it on that flap first, right? Joe is gonna sew on the top right now. And then we flip it down that away, see? And then he'll sew across the bottom of the whole thing so the tag is in there. Aren't we just smarticle? I'm baby. So the top. I gotta treat him good, you know. He's my baby. <laughs> yeah, no straight. Well fix it, babe. Every time I pin it, it's not straight. Oh, okay, it's alright. Let it top. <clears throat> it's just the top you're sewing. Right. So this is the one that we're doing right now. The back's going to be like this burgundy, red, whatever this is. And now I iron these. So I've got to turn my iron on. And I iron these because, see, that's going to be hard to attach to the apron if it's like this. So, um, yeah, pretty much that's why you didn't see me yesterday. We want to do two today, right, Joe? We're going to do two today. At the end of this vlog, I'm going to show you all that we have completed. And I think we're going to do one now. Well, it's 8 o'clock. It takes us about two and a half hours to do them, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to do we're going to do two. And then we're going to um, get other stuff done today. Like we'll see Osley. We haven't seen Osley. Here you go, babe. So the bottom. And then... Um, and go to the gym. We haven't been to the gym since what Monday was the last time we went to the gym. I'm really trying to produce these though. See, it's kind of hard to vlog when he's sewing because I need to sell out all of these first before I produce more. I can already see that I, I really can't take special orders at this time because I don't have the funds to go buy ingredients or materials <clears throat> to do special orders. Like there was a lady that was on the live that asked me to do one that was cows. Mm -hmm. And I would have totally done that if I found the cow stuff. But when I went to Walmart, they had lions and tigers and um, any type of um, jungle animal, but not farm animals. But then I realized that I can't do special orders like that unless that person pre-orders. Right, Joe? Mm -hmm. If they pre-order because then my stuff is tied up. They can say, oh, I want cows and then not come back and buy it for a while and then my money's tied up. Yeah, so I have to have a good business model if I'm going to do these merch. That's why I didn't do merch before because I really and truly need to um, figure how to do it to where it's reasonably, reasonably priced for me. I love the mugs that we did at that one site. The mugs were beautiful, but they set the price on the mugs and there was no um, deviation from it. You know, so with these aprons, I'm hoping to have so many made that eventually we can start doing sales. Like maybe I'll do one sale where I'll give you the shipping free. <clears throat> right now I can't do that because I'm strapped. But then we'll do another one where if you buy two aprons, you get one free. You know what I mean, Joe? Half price. Half price? <laughs> Joe said no free here because he has to work hard. I'm just throwing stuff out there. It's not written in stone. So tomorrow, Joe is going to give us a background wall. And um, we're all going to pose in these aprons. They don't know it yet, but everybody got a model. And I'll go next door and see if that lady will loan me her daughter. That little girl is very pretty. And she could put on the kid one. You know the older girl that she has? Well, she only has one girl and two boys, right? So the girl. She's very pretty. She's very exotic looking. So I'll go ask, hey, can I borrow your daughter? Put on the apron, child. 
ah, <laughs> so that she can um, model the kid one because I have one kid one. You never so. had that, did you? Huh? No, no, it's no, it's okay. I'll fix it. I have to fix it with the stick when it's not coming. Yeah, guys. So, anyways, let me go ahead and help Joe out here because Joe does all the sewing, so he's doing the heavy lifting. But I'm also contributing because I am um, I'm the one that's doing all this grunge work, right, Joe? What what I do what I do matter, right? Yes, baby. I don't like that song there at all. Fiona. Yes. Fiona. I'm sorry about the loss of your auntie. I'm sorry about the loss of your auntie. And I really do believe that to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord, meaning that she is fully aware of what's going on, but just probably can't get back in touch with you to say, hey, I'm okay. You know what I mean, Joe? Mm -hmm. I feel like my mom's aware. I feel like my mom is aware. But she just can't reach us. But she's with God, and I think she's with the other loved ones. That's what lets me sleep at night, right, Joe? Because mm -hmm. I feel like she's with Uncle Les and Grandma and Grandpa and mm -hmm. my Aunt Bobsy, the one that I was named after. I think my mom's with them. Did I get all of them already, Poppy? Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do now is add the pocket to the, um, hold on, Daddy. Add the pocket to the, the body. I'm going to have to write down what we do because do. I want to pop out this end. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to write, write down what we do because when we take a pause, we might forget how to assemble these aprons. Thank you to Joe's sister for teaching us how to do it, you know? We're at the Walmart in Fontana because when we bought the fabric yesterday for one of the, um, the fall type aprons, we knew we wouldn't have enough fabric because the lady only had a, a yard and a quarter and we needed two yards. So we need a little bit more. And um, let's hope they have it here. If not, we have to change that whole backing and table that solid color for another apron. Can you guys believe we did four aprons today? Four aprons before three o'clock. Yay! We're getting better and better and better. So right now we're getting ready to go to the gym. I'm so excited to go to the gym because every night I crawl into bed in pain. Um, I have a lot of pain in the way, 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 way lower parts of my back because of the way I kind of bend right there at the table to do the ironing. So I try to kneel on a chair. I try to sit. I try to do different positions um, yesterday and today to make that pain not be there when I crawl into bed at night. But you know what? It's all worthwhile because these aprons are coming out gorgeous. When we went to Walmart just now to get that green fabric, they did not have that specific green. They had every green but that green. And I didn't want the back side of the apron to have mismatched greens. So we just changed the color completely and went with like a brown, like a rust brown or something. And that goes with the leaves. So that apron will be different. We're going to save that green, set it aside. I'm going to keep that piece of fabric in my purse. And in the future, when I see that they get that back in again, I will buy what I need to finish the back side of another apron. I'm not going to waste that material. I can also cut what I have cut already to a smaller size and do like a kid apron. But I don't want to do too many of these kid aprons, okay? That's just a novelty thing that I did because we had leftover fabric and I didn't want the fabric to go to waste. So Josh and Joe and I are gonna to go to the gym. Uh, Jada's on her way home, but she's gonna stop at her old high school to do something with Colin today. Jory's at work. It's overcast. I can't stand these overcast days. They depress me. Yes, guys, we're here at the gym. I'm so glad we came because Oh, I really okay. feel like it'll help. Plus, it's empty. Aren't people like already taking off for Thanksgiving? No, it's like people, next week, people right? don't go out when the day overcast. Well, people they stay home and eat. No, they like traveled, you know, a couple of days ago, and now they're at their families, and now, now they're you see, like, you yeah, see how like you know what? Yeah. Stop, Joshua. Yeah. People are getting like really emboldened lately. We have the right away. He don't want to stop, and then they want to fight you. Like yesterday, these two cholos wanted to fight Joe when he went to the post office. Because they're trying to turn right when we turn. It, it almost seemed like they were turning into the same parking spot we were turning into. Waiting to pick him up, but he's taking forever in there. I think he must have gotten in a long line. There they go. 
Why the bill comes so high though? You have to take out 30? Joy says he's gonna buy that turkey. The papa is turkey. You have three turkeys? <laughs> I don't think you should do it. I don't think you should do it either. If you were on my live, you saw this one already. This is for like an eight year old child. It's snowman and I think Santa Claus is on it. And the back part of it is red. All right, so that's one. Then this, I have two of these already. This candy canes. Joe picked this, all right? He loved this candy cane. And the back part is red, but it's like a burgundy. Red. This one, I've got two the same way. Look at all that beauty with the apple green. And they are both sold. They both have names on them. This is the same thing as the baby one but it has the black on the back for the adults. So Sandra already bought one like that, so that's already shipped. This is mine. It's in the mix right now, but it's mine. I'm keeping this one. I wanted the blue polka dot with the dark blue on the back, cause blue is like a really, really good color for me on camera. And I like that it looks like retro. This is Santa Claus on the front, red on the back. We had one like this originally, but it was the first one we made and that's going to be auctioned off like Joshua said. It was the defective one. So this is the same. I got to cut all these threads off. Fix that tomorrow. This is the same as the first candy cane. So I have two of the candy. Whenever I buy a fabric like the front, um, I can make two aprons out of it. So I might as well just go ahead and make two. So this is the other one that's sold. And then this one. Did I show this one? No, we didn't show it yet. Mm -hmm. So this one is like a fall theme with leaves and it has this green on the back. Uh, we ran out of this green so we couldn't make two like that. So we're making another leaf one tomorrow but with brown on the back, okay? And then this one, I call this the Paris theme with the blue buildings, with the black on the back. That's sold too. I got like three of these sold and Sandra bought two. And then, yeah, another one sold. Yes! Yes, aren't they beautiful? Do you guys see? On Sunday we went to Joe's sister to learn how to make these. We came back home so confused. I watched the video several times that I recorded when I was there. I was still confused. And then we started to pick it up because she cut three for us and she had them kind of pinned the correct way. So now I have all these. They're $20 a piece. They're well worth it because it's two sides. It's two aprons in one. And we checked aprons on the internet and the crappy apron was like 28 bucks. I'm like, no, $20 is fine. With the labor and the love that we put, it into, we put into it, all of this stuff is very unique because we don't have a template. I mean, we do have one that we're using to cut off of, but because we're cutting free-handed, each and every one of them are a little bit different. Might be smaller this way, the pocket might be, you know, tinier, bigger, whatever. And th this one doesn't have any label in it, but all the ones that we started to do yesterday have my Bear Pantry Show label on it. Just so you can know where you got it from. If you want to give it to a friend, they can buy another one in the future. I really hope that this that we started right here, I don't expect to take off like gangbusters, like, oh my God, I'm going to become a millionaire. I just want for people to start steady buying it to know that it is available. Um, all year long we're gonna you know hopefully do like different seasons right now we're doing fall and Christmas and then we're gonna do what um, what's the thing that comes in February Valentine's yes yeah. I'm, I'm so unromantic I don't even remember Valentine's but you guys good. get the idea right St. Patrick's Day stuff like that anyway so this is what we started we have about four more to sew tomorrow we're gonna stop after that and just sell these first before we buy more material because I need money to buy more stuff so thanks for watching the vlog. This is two days combined. Thumbs up if you like it. Go ahead, subscribe, and I look forward to your comments. Bye. Yeah, daddy, in a kimono. Get that, Papa.